Good day. My name is Ingo Peters of Domingo Informatics. This week I'd like to talk about how to integrate Google Docs with Alfresco Share. This is an especially handy feature in the context of knowledge mobilization because quite often when we want to collaborate on a document, a white paper, or any other kind of um, file that we've got, we'd like to do so in real time. And there's a couple of different ways to do that, of course. One is to, to email the document around and then call up the other person and, and try to read the document at the same time. That's a pretty tricky thing to do, especially if you're making edits. And the other way to do it is through uh, web meetings, online meetings. And the third way, and that's absolutely free, there's no charge if you already have the Alfresco product, the open source product, is to use a Google Docs integration. So I'll be using the uh, contrived example of a professor, uh, let's just call him John, at York University in Ontario, and he's got a colleague, Dave, from UBC out in British Columbia, and they're both part of this, uh, they're members of the Office of Mobilization, that fictitious Alfresco Share site that I created in a previous blog post on my blog, which is kmb.domingoinformatics.ca. So, John has been working on a paper called Social Movements in Canada, and he wants to ask Dave for his feedback, and they want to collaborate on it in real time, via telephone for audio and via Google Docs for seeing what they're doing. So let's let's try this out. I've got Internet Explorer open. I've got my little test site here. I'm going to log in as John Smith. Okay, fine. And the first step that John is going to do is he's going to go to this Office of Knowledge Mobilization to the Document Library and upload the paper that he's been working on. Now, in other browsers, I can simply drag a file right out of File Explorer into the browser, but unfortunately, Internet Explorer is missing the right support. So we'll just do it this way here. Um, pick my file and say Upload, and that's that. Now, the next step is to click on that file and make it ready for uh, using it together with Google Docs. And the way to do that is you click on Manage Aspects, and there's actually a bunch of different aspects you can add to documents. We'll get into that another time, but suffice it to say, what each of these aspects does is it adds a bunch of metadata, attributes that you can then override. So what we're looking for here is Google Docs Editable. And now, notice, you've got the Checkout to Google Docs link. Now, it helps if you have uh, the users that you're going to share this document with via Google Docs. It helps if they already have a Google Docs account. If they don't, get them to create an account. You don't need to have a Gmail account, by the way, for this to work. You can use any email address you want. But just try to get that done before you click on Checkout to Google Docs. Alternatively, if you've already got it checked out and you'd like to share it with somebody new, check it in and check it out again. I happen to have noticed that if you, if the user does not exist in Google Docs yet, the first time they try to access it, it'll say there's a permission problem. So, anyways, there's just a little tip. Here we go. We're saying check out to Google Docs. Now that that's complete, we have, first of all, I'm, I'm seeing an email that notifies me of this, uh, of, of the new document that's been shared. But I can just click on this link now. View in Google Docs. That creates a new tab in my browser. My other tab's still there. And I'll have to sign in. So, whoops. Sign in. And there's my document in Google Docs. Now what I'd like to do is to simulate Dave Hughes working simultaneously with John on the document. I'm going to use a different browser 
just so that my sessions don't override. You know, I'm signed in as John on the one window, and on the other window, I'll be signed in as uh, Mr. Hughes. So I'm going to use Firefox here or Waterfox. And And I'm going to navigate over to the Office of Knowledge Mobilization and find the document. There it is. So this is still um, inside Alfresco, but right away I can see that, aha, John is editing this right now. There's a session in progress. It's been checked out. So that's all fine. What we want to do is click on View in Google Docs, and this will allow me to sign in again. And now I should be able to work on this document at the same time. I can see John. Okay, this is showing up twice because I was trying to do this in the same browser earlier on. It didn't work. I, I couldn't um, log in as both Dave Hughes and John Smith using, let's say, Internet Explorer. But you can see the other users. There could be any number of other users collaborating at the same time. And in this window, this is John's view, and he also sees uh, that it's being edited. So, for example, let's say they're talking away, and you can actually see as John clicks around, there's a little icon that follows. Uh, sorry, as Dave clicks around, there's a little icon that follows on John's screen. And now if I'm doing an edit to it, say... Let's change this. And it's simultaneously happening in both windows. That's the idea behind real-time communication. If you don't have a phone, you can use an instant messenger service, or you can type something in the chat window. Over here, you can see what the other person is typing. So I prefer to use the telephone at this point or to use uh, voice over IP in some manner, but this is an option. So now, fine. Let's say you all finished. Uh, they don't need to collaborate anymore. At this point, what John could do is check the document back in from Google Docs. Now, keep your eye on this. So this is the preview right now as it is in alfresco once i check it in that small change that we made in google docs will be reflected here and there it is so the great part about this is that it gives you real-time collaboration without any more cost it integrates really well between alfresco share and google docs that's a that's a terrific fit and you can share the documents with anybody in your in your list of members from this site i hope you enjoyed it my name is ingo peters domingo informatics so long